Welcome to... Is today Friday or Thursday? Friday. Today's Friday. <laughs> That's Logan Gunsenhauser. Aloha. Um, we're currently teaching each other how to do handstands. <laughs> um, yeah, today's a new day. It's a wonderful day. And let's see, we got some food cooking up here. We're about to depart from the house pretty soon, so you gotta have the fuel. Because one thing about Hawaii is if... Uh, if you eat out for every meal, your experience here could get quite expensive or you could spend a lot of money. And you know, Daniel and Diana are definitely opening my eyes to the idea of basically how much has saving money cost me? It's a good question. I love that question actually. But I'm going to continue to save money and gain, <laughs> gain, uh, what is this, uh, gain this nutritious food into my body. That's true. That's some good. Did you hear that? I might be saving money for a day that doesn't exist. Yeah. I think uh, Jesus said something similar to that. <laughs> About storing up your tre treasures on earth where rust and moth will decay. Hey, Daniel. Hey, what'd, you, what'd you just get done doing? <laughs> Welcome to the vlog number uh, Friday. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. It's very important to let her come up. Come up. <laughs> Otherwise, you might be full of crap. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, speaking of crap and emotions, uh, that's how we see emotions a lot of times is the more we suppress our emotions, the more we suppress what's actually coming up in us, whether that be happiness, laughter, crying, sadness, embarrassment. The more we suppress this, the more we get clogged up. And just like our crap, could you imagine suppressing your crap when you had to go, what would happen to your body? I believe that our emotions have a similar effect. I would like for us to imagine one more thing while we're on that topic. Can you imagine if you're being really happy and blissful and joyous and someone's like, what's wrong? <laughs> so, why is it that a lot of times when someone's being angry or sad, they get that response? Mm. What's wrong with you? Maybe, what's, maybe we can start celebrating that when someone al allows themselves to feel the gift of anger and or sadness. Yeah. Camera, you're, just talking, you're telling your story to a friend. Right, yeah. Uh, that's a good I'm practice. Teaching the you're, <laughs> you're awakening the Daniel Leaning. <laughs> Daniel Leaning Daniel right now. Oh, <laughs> Especially considering that the conversation I just had with JP Sears, um, mm. a lot of times I'll take, I like to take a little, not take it, but I like to share a little credit of JP's success on YouTube. Uh, because it wasn't really that long ago at all that Timothy, myself, Deanna, and JP. JP was in a very similar setting as Logan was, where we were always like hanging out, being honest, being funny, being goofy, let what come up, come out. And it turns out JP's a bit of a, I just told him on the phone, like a brilliant genius. Yeah. And um, it wasn't that I'm taking credit for him being a brilliant genius, but I think I will give myself a pat on the back, and all of us have had the back to like to affirm J to tell JP truthfully what his gifts yeah. were, rather than like letting jealousy or envy get in the way to be like, bro, you're like a comedian. Why aren't you doing this stuff on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you doing this stuff on YouTube? And I remember having very specific conversations like, just take this strategy and make YouTube videos. Mm. And today, JP has a hundred thousand wow. YouTube subscribers. Wow. That's like, uh, it's actually humbling because in a way we've gone to make a lot of YouTube subscribers and we have like 30 or 40,000. He uh, is, I don't know what the number is now, but he just like ran with it. Wow. And um, I think it was all, we all behaved as really good friends that we were able to uplift each other even if that meant. Oh. And some perception. There's a bird on our bananas. Bringing them even above ourselves in a way. I like being able to celebrate that JP has much more YouTube subscribers than that. In a I don't know. Shorter period of time. That's true. And I'm happy for that. I'm really happy for JP that he was able to. Speaking of YouTube subscribers, I would like to express that uh, our YouTube subscribers is probably, I mean, I don't know if they've gone down, but definitely the views on our videos have gone down. So. You also haven't been posting that many videos. We haven't been posting that many videos, but I would like to say that, man, the joy in my life, and I, it seems like from what I perceive about everyone else's life here is it's going up. Oh, and sure. regardless of the views on our videos, I feel so successful. I feel so uh, fulfilled most of the time. Of course, there's some times where I get, to, I allow um, Satan, I would say, enter my mind and tell me what I'm doing is not right and I should 
mix it up a bit. But man, overall, I feel so blessed and fulfilled. Thank God for that. And even if you weren't, that's the thing. But we're, what we're celebrating around here is even if you don't feel joyous in the moment, we can celebrate that too because you know what's right around the corner is joy. Ah, man. <laughs> It's like a U curve. It's like joy and ha joy and sadness is like a U curve. Whenever you start feeling sad or down, you're like, here's a U. You're going down, down, down. And however far you go down, you can, it's actually a J curve. So however far you go down, you can expect to go like twice as high up. So it's just like remember, slide. the faster the slide is, yeah. the, the more fun the launch. And uh, I want to show you guys a little bit what's in our kitchen. Diana, Deanna's got a little spot over here with some uh, greens and alkalized water, some lemons, dishes, Vitamix, the uh, reduced electroly electrolysis water machine that's been pumping us up. And uh, got some ginger tea, got local bananas from our backyard, starfruit chocolate, got chopsticks, elk, quinoa, chopsticks. And I also want, on the note, because sometimes you know how I like these rabbit holes awaken the Danolini. The Dana Molini is, I do want to say also, I'm not at all promoting that you have to experience challenging times. Because there is a whole, I, I would say, especially, and I would be curious for, because I know religion seems to be a hot topic on our channel. Uh -huh. People are disagreeing about their religious beliefs, and that's cool. I, I love to agree to disagree. I think some of my best friendships are actually founded on disagreement. Mm -hmm. um, even our marriage, in a way, we don't agree <laughs> on all our religious beliefs. Uh, but I do want to, I noticed something, Timothy, I would, Timothy might not agree with this, but okay, let's talk. a lot of uh, Christian, especially conservative Christian people, if I was going to be bold enough to make stereotypes, is it seems as if they think they have to suffer to receive joy. Mm. And I don't think you have to. I think that's, you can. You can if you so desire. Mm. And there's nothing wrong, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Uh, yeah, but there are sometimes is a bit of a martyr personality where, in order for you, some people, in order to believe, believe they have to receive love, they have to like endure suffering. Mm. And I don't think that has to be the case. I believe Christ already did that for mm. us. Yeah, I would say that that, from my perspective of Christianity, I can see where Daniel's coming from that with that. But I'm uh, definitely, I think, as all of us Christians are growing, uh, growing in our spirituality, maturing in our spirituality, and the Bible does talk a lot about. Humble yourself so you can be exalted, and the least will be the first, and the first will be the least in the kingdom. Uh, you know, the, so I, I can see where Daniel's getting that from, and where I've got it from. But it's just important, I think, to be in prayer about that, to not let your ego, or your pride, get in the way of a spiritual connection with the Father. So uh, that's that's the very individual basis, I'd say. I love the quote, like you have to, in order to gain life. You have to be willing to lose it. Yeah. That idea, and what I take that as is in multiple ways. But one way I take it as, if you want to gain fulfillment, then you yeah. have to be willing to lose or to shed layers of your ego. Mm. You have to be able and willing to sacrifice your image to find out who you really are. Yeah, and I would love to uh, hear any other people that are maybe feeling some stuff come up, comment on this video below, because I imagine it is triggering some people out there, and let's talk about it. And I want to share something that's very touching to me. I was reading in, uh, I think it was Matthew the other day, where Jesus, where someone was asking Jesus who he was, like, is he the Son of God or the Messiah? And uh, Peter, uh, he asked Peter, well, who do you think I am? And Peter said, you are the, the Messiah, the Son of God, you're the Christ. And uh, Jesus was like, yes. Peter, you uh, you have obtained that knowledge not from man but from the Father. I see that you're you were my special one, <laughs> and he exalted Peter big time. He even said that that's where he's gonna build a church upon that word. And then, just a few moments later, Peter was trying to talk Jesus out of doing what he was called to do, which was to die on the cross for our sins. That was his. That was what was prophesied many many years ago. And then he goes, he tells Peter the same one he just exalted. He says, Satan, get behind me. So the point in that story, which is such a meaningful story to me, is that there, this, just a few moments, one can be filled total with uh, the light of God and, and, that, and that Christ consciousness. And then just moments uh, later can be filled with what Jesus was referring to as Satan. So there's good and evil in this world, and it's just a choice of what, what are we going to fill our hearts and our spirits with. And I, I, th I would challenge anyone to disagree with me that there's good and evil in this world because there definitely is. You see it. You see it in wars. You see it in all the stuff that's going on out there. 
And I just want to ask you, well, where, why would someone choose to do something like that? Do you call the, do you call the wars going on in your body, body as good and evil? Yes. Are the, which one, are the, is the bacteria evil and the white blood cells good? Uh, I don't, I, I'm not sure. What it was just another, pers you were asking to be challenged on the perspective. If, uh -huh. there, if there is, good about the challenge of the idea, if there is good and evil. Right. And I'm just saying that the way I sometimes see it is that the world is representative of like our human bodies. And maybe this is where it gets like, if we were in the holographic universe in a way. Uh -huh. But it's, uh, that sometimes I consider this idea that all the humans are one cell of the body of Earth. Mm -hmm. in a way mm -hmm. and also maybe that means the body of the church the body of Christ in a mm -hmm. way that we're all cells of the same body and I, if you look at our bodies on a cellular mm -hmm. level there may be battles like it, what could be perceived as major wars going on between bacteria white blood cells between whatever's going on right here mm -hmm. about a microscopic level it could look like a, mm -hmm. a war of some sort or it could look up uh, like after a war. I think there's a healing of after a war. I think there's actually a scripture that talks about the battle is not between flesh and blood, but it's about the spiritual mm. the spiritual forces in this world. So I like that clarity. That's a good. I think that's yeah. a good way to. That's a good to add clarity to that statement. I can hear all my Christian brothers and sisters out there like, get him, Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's not about getting. See, that's me. That's my own pride. That's my own pride, and I, our pride is existing all the time. I feel like, and it's just a matter of whether we're gonna whether we're gonna honor it or not. Well, I, I just think it's important for us to you for whoever's listening to this to consider what we're saying is as important as for what you say for us to consider it. Because if I want you to consider what I'm thinking, mm. then I believe I have to be willing to consider what you're thinking. Mm. Consideration, yes. But uh, I do believe there's a line to be drawn. <laughs> You, see, you know what they say, you hang around the haircut, you hang around the barbershop too long, you're going to get a haircut. <laughs> All right. Being in the rainbow in the E.L. Valley. Yeah, there's a the, there's the rainbow. Dream's coming true right now because we're in the E.L. Valley and we're at the pot of gold known as the E.L. Valley and we're about to swim in the rainbow water. Yeah, and uh, we just found out that this van right here that we've been driving around for a while is due in 30 minutes. <laughs> so, uh... We have a lot of stuff in there, a lot of surfboards as you can see, and we're gonna go drop it off and be a little stranded, and that's okay. And guess how fortunate, how blessed I was that I had a massage scheduled. And I feel like I'm doing the right thing, I don't wanna cancel on the massage therapist just because it's out of convenience for us. So while they're doing all that logistics, I'll be getting a massage. Yeah. And, and thank you guys, thank you guys for understanding i think it's the right thing to do check that rainbow though yeah there's a rainbow and we're about to jump in some nice cold fresh water be rejuvenated it's it's like a rebirth for this day that's what it feels like it's like uh, my favorite part of the day is when i wake up and uh i i uh feel like jumping in this water is gonna like <laughs> take me back to that same place even though it's 5 p.m. in the afternoon. What's your low point of the day? Do you have a consistent low? Huh? Let me know. Yeah, Comment yeah, below. Yeah, right I'm in the flow, yo. Yeah. Don't let me show my guns because I'm going to oh, get in trouble. If I'm looking for a little rubble, little rubble to play with, and I got a beat right here. I'm freestyling. <laughs> he always got a beat. Dang, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't even filming when we did that little beatbox sesh. You wanna do it again? Yeah, you hit that beat, man, and um, I'm gonna flow with it. And I got that rainbow in the background, and I'm hitting my flow. This ain't no slow rhyme for you, Chose. Yeah, I said Cho, does that mean I'm talking about Asians? Maybe, I love Asians, I love black people, I love African Americans, Jewish people, white people, black people, love people, yeah. <laughs> Now that we realize what the signs mean, we we realize what these signs mean actually. What is that? Uh, and this is no dis disrespect to anyone in Hawaii or anything, but I think the signs that tell you don't go back past there, I've chosen to interpret them as only go back there if you're supposed to be back there. And yeah. for you that know you're supposed to be back there, know it. Yeah. Or you have faith in it. It's the trailhead yeah, marker. We're, we're in a bit of a rush here because we got to get our car back by a certain time. So. so one thing about vlogging is someone's got to hold the camera. So I've chosen to hold the camera while Daniel gets the glory. The glory of going in the water. I'm going to get in the water too, but I'm just getting him on camera doing it. 
Yes. That's apparently, vlog, that's video vlog worthy. Apparently, someone thought we were dead down there because we were. Yeah, because you were standing still or something. Those people there thought you were dead. Yeah. You guys were looking at dead body. We're, we're not dead. <laughs> we're fully alive. <laughs> fully alive. Feeling great. As we, yep. As we were alluding to earlier, maybe one must be willing to give up what they want in order to get what they really desire. Yes. It's been too long since I've been in the water. Yes. I forgot how great it feels. Yes. Uh, don't look don't look too much into what I was just saying. Yes. Just some ideas I'm considering out loud. I'm not even sure if I've made sense of them myself, but is that what is that what we're really supposed to be? Is that what we're really supposed to do to be here? We're here to be sensible. No, to, I think we're here to be more than just sensible. Yeah. Are we are we supposed to wait till we can make perfect sense before saying anything or just kind of make it up as we go along. You know what they say, an entrepreneur is not someone who uh, has all his, everything lined up perfectly before he takes action. He's more like a guy who, who takes that leap of faith and tries to figure it out as he goes. <laughs> it's like, it's like this, it's like, <laughs> ready, shoot, aim. <laughs> <laughs> ready, shoot, aim. I like that. Shoot, ready, aim. <laughs> My favorite quote is, a loser is not someone who comes in third place. A loser is someone who's so afraid of failure that they don't even try. Little Miss Sunshine movie I got that from. And I also wanted to ask, since we're on these awesome <laughs> subjects, do you think you were put here to guess what other people wanted you to say and then say that so that you don't surprise them? Is that what you, do, do people think that they were here for that? I don't know. Do, do, were you here, were you put here? Oh. To worship. <laughs> you guys want to be on our vlog? <laughs> on your vlog? Yeah. What are you vlogging about? Are you about life here in the EL. Just give me the yes so I can camera y'all. Sure. Sure, okay. Why not? Yeah, how, how was your hike in the EL Valley? Loving it's it. It's pretty legit. Yeah. It's a little shorter than I thought it would be, but you know, not bad. Any Have you guys been hiking anywhere else? Uh, a little bit around the island. Did you encounter any flash floods? We did no. not. No flash floods. I see you have a cross on your neck. Does that mean that you are... Uh, so you know who your savior is? I do. Amen. Love it. Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Nice. I am too. There we go. That. I haven't run into many Christians. I feel like, although when I do start talking to people, sure enough, we find, find uh, some oh, yeah. brothers Absolutely. and sisters. Absolutely. That's an awesome shot he's got. Yes. That's <laughs> awesome. We live on the dry side of the island, so yeah. it's nice over here. This is, is cool. Behind the side? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Cool. Where you What's your from? names? Summer. Summer. Oh, Rhea. Rio? Ria. Ria, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm Timothy. We're from I'm from Georgia. Yeah, actually we're from Georgia, but we live wherever we go. There you go. That's the best part. <laughs> it's awesome. Love it. Yeah. Alright, we just saw Frank J and he's here to say something to you. <laughs> I I was just in the moment saying something, but the, the camera wasn't on or something like that. Um, I just wanna say to always make sure that your body is healthy. You eat real food. Your body likes that. Amen. And um, I love you, I appreciate you, and I wish you an incredible day. Wow, thank you. <laughs> we'll work for food. <laughs> All right, so we're here in the Whole Foods parking lot. We just got our van taken away from us. You can see them over there in our van. <laughs> and uh, we're stranded to, for the time being until Deanna, Queen Bee comes to pick us up. But we got some nice grass to put our feet in. The weather is fine. We have two machetes in case we need to cut down any uh, coconuts. And don't forget about the Whole Foods right, right in front of us. <laughs> Rough situation, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Just kidding. So we're waiting on Daniel to get done with the massage and we're gonna do some tricks. What kind of trick do you got going there, Logan? It's my ab. Nice, <laughs> lever. He's gonna redeem himself with the, the uneven handstand. Elbow, incline, one-legged, downward dog. Nice. Tricks on us. Ah! 